Hello everybody! What's going on? Want to see another breakup panel? It is right here. Let's take a look. I am at a job. This time I am working in the five-story apartment building of late 1950s or 1960s. The wiring in the apartments is made from aluminum cables. I've been called to one of the apartments of this building to check on a couple of sockets. To check on the sockets, I needed to remove voltage from those sockets. There is no breaker panel inside the apartment. A large breaker panel for four apartments is in the stairwell. I opened the breaker panel's door, but I couldn't figure out which breaker I should have turned down to remove voltage from the outlets. Besides, the breaker panel itself looked weird to me. I decided to draw the scheme of the breaker panel so that to understand clearly what circuit every breaker is responsible for. When I was done with the scheme, I realized that the whole breaker panel was a mess and it contradicted a number of electric codes. Here is the scheme of the section of the breaker panel that belongs to that apartment. I was hugely surprised to see that kind of breaker panel. It is something you don't see every day. Actually, it is the first time I have ever encountered something like that. That breaker panel came some kind of a puzzle to me. Finally, I have managed to unpuzzle that breaker panel. Here it is, unpuzzled, clarified, and cleared up. It is raining outside. It is also storming with thunders and lightnings. In just a moment, I'll put this paper on the steering wheel. Let's take a look. This is something you don't see every day. The hot wire is connected to the 25 ampere breaker. The neutral wire is connected to the kilowatt hour meter. This is the kilowatt hour meter. The hot wire runs from the breaker to the kilowatt hour meter and further to the breaker of 16 amperes, which is placed between the other two breakers. The hot wire then runs to the lower terminal of the 25 ampere breaker. Oops, the scheme collapsed. So it runs to the lower terminal of this breaker. Then the hot wire goes to the right line, which runs to the apartment. There are all in all two lines running from the breaker panel to the apartment, the right one and the left one. What about the neutral conductor? The neutral conductor first runs to the kilowatt hour meter, and from the kilowatt hour meter the neutral goes to the neutral lug. There are actually two neutral lugs there connected to each other. The neutral conductor from the right neutral lug runs to the right cable, and with the cable the neutral runs further to the apartment. From the left lug the neutral runs to the left cable and further to the apartment. The hot conductor runs from the upper terminal of the right breaker through the lead breaker and further to the cable that runs to the apartment. So this is the kilowatt hour meter. The hot conductor runs to the upper terminal of the middle breaker. The neutral conductor comes to the right lug. The neutral wires then run to the apartment embodied in the two cables, the left cable and the right cable. As for the phase conductor, it comes to the upper terminal of the middle breaker, which is a 16 ampere one, and the hot wire runs to the lower terminal of the right breaker, which is 25 ampere. From that lower terminal, the hot wire runs to the apartment. From the upper terminal of the right breaker, the hot conductor goes to the upper terminal of the left breaker. From the lower terminal of the left breaker, the hot wire runs to the apartment. This scheme is absolutely wrong, and it is absolutely crazy. It also violates a number of Russian electric codes. What are your thoughts about this breaker panel? Feel free to share your thoughts in the comments below. This is the first time I ever seen anything like this. Now let's go and take a look at this breaker panel itself. Don't forget to drop your comment about this. By the way, in the apartment there are some more things I want to show you. The wiring in the apartment is aluminum and it is very old. The old aluminum conductors break apart inside the sheath. The old bulb holders fall apart. The estimated age of this bulb holder is between 20 and 30 years, and most of the time, if not all of it, it was working with incandescent bulbs, which were very hot. This bulb holder should have been changed a number of times in the course of this 20 to 30 years, but it was not until now. So let's go and see. Here is this breaker panel.
This is not good. There is a hole here. I might as well use a bolt. This I understand. It is sparkle. I will have to use my utility knife on this old wire. No strippers will work on this old aluminum wire. In this old kind of breaker panel I better not touch anything with my hands. I don't trust this old insulation. The wire must have been hot when the current was in the wire. The insulator has stuck to the aluminum conductor. I don't want to break this old aluminum wire. Why is it sparkling? If the sparks are large, then the current is large. Why is the current here? The breaker is mounted with a piece of wire? This is weird! And now I see it is the GIN rail that is tied up with this wire. It is not screwed, it is tied with a piece of wire. Oh, holy... Oh. Phases here, there is no phase there, there is 220 volts, I am turning it on. There should be voltage between these two, yes it is, and the voltage is here, and here, and here. This is ok. This is what we call the current. Actually, I forgot to turn the breaker off, that is why the wire was sparkling. I got sparks here, big ones.
There are joists in this hole. This may be not too bad anyway. We can put these joists into good use. Will you be hanging the chandelier to the joists? Are those joists strong enough to bear this heavy chandelier? I'm not sure the joists are this strong. I will bolt the chandelier to both the joists and the anchored ceiling. Joists alone will not make strong enough support. I'm not sure that the joists are screwed to the anchored strongly enough. Hanging to the anchored ceiling will guarantee that the chandelier will not fall down. 